And good morning, everybody. Why shouldn't the year end with two more sad stories of some showbiz deaths? One of the stars of the iconic 1960s sitcom Gilligan's Island has passed away. She was one of the stars of the classic series Dawn Wells, who played the down to earth pigtailed Marianne on the show that originally ran 1964 to 67, but has lived on in reruns ever since. Her publicist says that she died from complications of COVID 19. A former beauty queen, Wells had a lengthy career in television, movies, and on stage after being one of the castaways from that famous three-hour tour. Tina Louise, who played the movie star on the show, Ginger, is the last surviving member of the cast. She said that uh, she was her longtime friend and was a wonderful person who always had a smile on her face. Don Wells was 82 years old. Also, one of the artists who popularized break dancing has passed away. Shabadu Adolfo Quinones was found unconscious at his home last night. There was no sign of foul play. The cause of death has not been determined. He was born and raised here in Chicago and was part of the Tony Basil famous street dance crew, the Lockers, back in the 1980s. Shabadoo's popularity skyrocketed after the movies Breakin and Breakin 2, Electric Boogaloo. He was also the choreographer to people like Lionel Richie, Madonna, and Luther Vandross. He was the primary dancer and main choreographer for Madonna's Who's That Girl Tour in 1987. When he was here on The Morning Show back in 2013, he had lots of WGN and Chicago memories. Really nice guy. Shabadoo was 65 years old. Well, usually at the end of the year, I give you my picks for the best of the year. But this year, movies in theaters have been sparse. So instead, we went online. These were the most watched video events of the year. It was a hit on Broadway and in other major cities around the world. But when the pandemic came, Hamilton, an American musical, and every other show shut down. On the 3rd of July this year, the show that had been filmed with its original cast, slated for release in theaters, debuted on the Disney Plus streaming service with 2.7 million people watching in its first two weeks, more than the amount of people who have seen the show live. Coming in second place on the top video on demand list this year was Sasha Baron Cohen's Borat 2. The Kazakhstan quasi-journalist was back in America, exposing people being themselves when they didn't know the cameras were on. You can still see it on Amazon Prime. Third place went to Dave Batista's My Spy, also on Amazon. You have something I want. It will be mine. Both in critical response and with numbers of people going to Disney Plus just to see the series, The Mandalorian took the top spot on the original streaming series list, even though Netflix dominated it with shows like The Queen's Gambit, Stranger Things, and The Crown. And with the limited live sports available this year, one of the most watched sports-related content was ESPN's 10-part documentary, The Last Dance. So that was the virtual year 2020. But we can't forget back when we were able to pack into theaters, like last year. Thanos did exactly what he said he was going to do. He wiped out 50% of all living creatures. Where's the Avengers? We gotta finish this. 2019's top grossing movie was the incredible Avengers Endgame. But 10 years ago, the biggest box office hit was Toy Story 3. 20 years ago, we were watching Jim Carrey and How the Grinch Stole Christmas. What's the matter? Seems like uh, whenever anything good in my life happens, I'm just afraid I'm going to lose it. Who is that? You can hear me? And for 1990, the top grossing film of the year was Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore's Ghost. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your father. He told me enough. I am your father. In 1980, the number one movie of the year was Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back. Now it just seems like a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. 
That is for sure. As always, you can get my weekly movie reviews and home video picks sent to your phones every week. Just text the word Dean to 97999. And Happy New Year to everybody, especially to you, Morgan.